Hey guys, let's talk about the super user root. Root is the user in Linux operating system that has access to all commands and all files. It has access to the top level directory called root directory. So if we go back to the directory structure in Linux, every other directory in a Linux system resides under the root directory and root super user has write access to this directory which means by then it has write access to all these directories by default as well. Now root user is also the most privileged user account on the system which means it can modify the system in any way it desires which means it can install software, uninstall software, delete any file, it can grant and revoke access permission for other users, it can delete files that are used by other users as well. Now let's get back to our terminal and if your user is part of the sudo group or is an administrator then they can perform this operation sudo minus i to switch as a root user. It might ask for the password of your user account but it didn't in this case because I logged in as root user previously and it remembered that I've actually put in the password a few minutes back. So now let's go into the home directory of user labbit. Let's go into downloads. Let's list all the files in downloads and let's try and remove a file. So let's remove my file right so I was able to log in to a different user as root and I was able to then delete a file in that users profile as root now let's try and do this when we are a normal user so not root so let's first switch as a normal user now let's try and get into the root users home directory which is slash root permission denied so other users can't access the root users home directory now let's etc onto the past wd file now in this file the first line represents the root user so we can see that this is the username of the root user which is root it is part of user id is 0 it's part of a group and that groups group id is 0 as well the comment is root this is its home directory slash root and that's its default shell bin bash with this we've come to the end of this lecture i will see you in the next lecture Bye.